So I'm just going to do another example for you guys if you want a little bit more advice with this. Um, we'll look at number 37, and again, they're being quite helpful here because they're telling you how many distinct circuits there are in that network. There's four of them, so you know you have to find four distinct ones. Um, and in this case, we're starting in ending at A each time, so this is where we need to be aiming ourselves. So if I look for um, a circuit to complete this network, I might go from A to C, B, D, E, A, and I'll write it down in the order that I did it, A, C, B, D, E, A. And grab yourself a different color highlighter. Strategy for me is sometimes to think about, okay, well that was one possibility from A to C. Is there a different possibility from A to C? And it looks like there is. I could go to D first. So if I go A to C, D, B, E, A, that works. So A, C to D first, then B, E, A as one possibility. Taking a look for a different one. Um, from C I've kind of covered my options. I've gone from D and I've gone to B. Is there anything else I could do? Um, if I tried A, C, D, E, I'm stuck. I can't get to B and back up to A. So let's try going from A to D. So if I go from A to D, I can go out to C down to B, up to E, and then A. So that's A, D, C, um, B, E, A. And again, I can tell it's distinct because I'm not tracing over any path that's already been done. I'm using different different um, edges that haven't haven't been covered before. If I look for another one, if I were going to go to D first, I do have an option here that I can go from A to D to E, B, C, and back up to A. Let's look at that. A, E, B, C, A. So A, E, oops. A, D, E, B, C, A. And just to double check, if it gets complicated and you can't quite tell if they're all unique, just double check them forwards and backwards. So A, C, B, D, E, A. Let's look anything backwards there that goes starts with A, C. Okay, this one's A, C as well going backwards. A, C, B is the same backwards as A, C, B, the first one. So green and red are halfway the same. But then this green one goes from B to E, and this red one goes from B to D. So these are distinct routes, that's okay. Looking at... Um, any other possibilities of overlap here and it doesn't look like we've got any because there's no other combinations all these are A, E which is the same and we know that they've got differences this one goes from E to D, this one goes from E to B and this one goes from E to B but then goes to C and this one goes from E to B and then goes to D so they're all different um, and once you've got those figured out you're going to want to add them up, add them up for yourself. So again, looking at these diagrams and using those distances. So for the first circuit that we did, A C D E B A. I'm just going to pause this so you don't have to go through this misery. But we're looking for writing down what all these are. So we'll just write them down and show them added up. Okay, so now that I've written down what all those distances are, I was just looking for the distance, for instance, between A and C. It's 27, so I wrote it down, wrote down all the distances, add them up. So you can see for each circuit how far the distance this traveling salesperson would have to travel. And so we're looking for the minimum one here, which is clearly the 79 kilometers. So that's obviously going to be our shortest um, way to complete this circuit and visit all those nodes. As a tip for you, if you get distances that are the same, so for instance I got an 80 and an 80 on the red and the black black circuits there. You might just want to double check that they are in fact distinct routes. And one way to do that is if you write these numbers out, what you've added up for your distances is just check to see that there's some different numbers in there. So for instance there's a 25 on the black and there's not a 25 on the red and there's a 27 on the red and not a 27 on the black. So 
those are, that's just showing me that I've actually gone along different roads, you know, I've traveled different distance, like different ways through the network, even though they both added up to 80, they are in fact distinct. But you would write, um, your optimal circuit for the minimum distance traveled would be what you got for the red diagram, which was A, C, B, D, E, A, at, oops, sorry, not red, blue. My fault. And the blue one was A, C, D, B, E, A, at a distance of 79 kilometers. So just take your time and be careful to make sure that you're checking everything out. Um, again, one of those tips might be instead of going all over the diagram as you start to solve it, is kind of like I did, think about if I go from A to C as my first option, then from there pick out everything possible. And once you've done everything between that starts A, C, find a different starting point for yourself. Um, it helps kind of categorize it a little bit for you. So pick your first combination AC, look for anything possible. Once you've done all those, find another combination like AD, find anything possible, or AE, find anything possible. But it, those might be backwards at that point. So remember they need to be distinct, not the same forwards and backwards.